Medication abortion is safe and effective and is approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for use up to 10 weeks of pregnancy. In recent years, clinics have started to offer medication abortion using a telehealth model, which involves a virtual consultation with a provider and patients being mailed the medications or picking them up at a clinic. To be eligible for a medication abortion, healthcare providers and patients must figure out how long someone has been pregnant. In a clinic, this is usually done with an ultrasound or exam, but it can also be done by asking a pregnant person the date that their last period started. Unfortunately, not everyone can remember this date and not knowing or not being completely sure may disqualify someone from getting a medication abortion without having to go to a clinic to have an ultrasound or exam. In fact, uncertainty about the date of their last period is causing nearly one in five pregnant people to be automatically disqualified from having a medication abortion without an ultrasound or exam. So a team of researchers set out to find ways to reduce this uncertainty. They found that this uncertainty can be reduced by asking three questions about how long someone has been pregnant instead of just one. These questions include, what was the first day of your last period? What date did you get pregnant? And how many weeks pregnant do you think you are today? Using these three questions has several advantages. First, with just a few questions, nurses and doctors, as well as pregnant people themselves, can determine how long someone has been pregnant and if they are eligible for a medication abortion. Second, nearly everyone can answer at least one of these questions, which means that fewer people will be automatically screened out of being able to get a medication abortion without an ultrasound. Last, the three questions together are very accurate, especially in figuring out if someone is more than 10 weeks pregnant. Using their responses to these three questions, the researchers found that very few people, less than 3%, thought that they were less than 10 weeks pregnant when they were actually further along. Having questions that people can answer and that can accurately tell us how long someone has been pregnant will allow more people to have a medication abortion without an ultrasound or exam. This is especially important for people seeking abortion who may not be able to get to a clinic or who might need or prefer to access care using telehealth. People are generally accurate in estimating how long they have been pregnant, especially using the three-question method. Trusting a person's self-assessment of how long they have been pregnant could remove barriers and enable greater access to abortion through telehealth. It could also allow people to avoid traveling long distances to a clinic or getting an ultrasound when they would prefer not to. People should always have the option to see a healthcare provider in person, but expanding access to telehealth could allow more people to get the care they need and in the way that is right for them.